This is Tommy Watt for TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV. I'm joined by Lucas Big Daddy Brown, getting ready for his fight next Friday. Thanks for joining us, mate. Thank you, mate. Been a little while, been a little while back in Sydney. How's uh, how's things been? Well, it's been good. Um, as you can imagine, I've had over a year off now, so that, that hasn't been the good part. But um, a lot of bullshit backwards and forwards. Um, I've sort of I've tried to keep as positive as possible. No pun intended. Um, but yeah, I've been training like the six days a week still, only the one session a day, so not camp style, but just keep me active, keep me uh, amongst everything. Uh, a lot of sparring and stuff like that. Um, I'm very happy to be back here doing the pads with Rodney Williams, who is, I, I believe he's the man. So um, yeah, I can't wait. Got, we've got a week to go before the fight, and I'm um, looking to smash. Yeah, absolutely. So it's been, um, like I say, it's been a, a tough year. I know we've been in, in touch and keeping in touch, so you've been yep. down in Perth. Yep. Um, we've been obviously waiting for you to, to get back to Sydney, and yep. you've only been back for a few days and there's already a lot of talk around Sydney, you're on yeah. Fox Sports already, on the radio and everything like that, so everyone's starting it's to talk about you again. So. Um, and let's, I guess let's start from the beginning. Um, so you're, the situation with uh, the WBC at the moment and, and everything else, so you're, as far as I'm aware, you, can, you can't fight the WBC or the WBA at the moment, but you're, allowed, you're clear to That's fight right. for everything else. So. I'm clear to fight. I can't fight for a WBC or a WBA world title, which, fair enough. Um, I've got to start from scratch anyway, so that's not going to happen. Um, I believe the WBC ban is up in June, yep. so regardless, I need a warm up fight anyway. Um, the WBA is still up in the air, that's a weird one. Uh, letting my managers and things do that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with the whole Briggs thing. Oh, well, that's what I was going to say, they're in the minefield at the moment. Yeah. yeah, so like, I'm, I'm good to go. I'd love to fight the Quendo if that does come up. Um, yeah, next week I've got the warm up fight, and then I'll be ready to go no matter what. So I'm good to go. It's up to the WBA, but yeah, um, yeah basically, uh, license done, rego's done, everything's done. Um, I've got no rankings whatsoever. I wasn't the top five in the world across all four at one point. Yeah. Because we concentrated solely on the WBA, I lost all the rankings in the others, and, and then with all this bullshit now, I've lost everything. So yeah. I've technically got to start from scratch. People are wondering why I'm fighting Matthew Greer, who's uh, 16 wins, 20 losses. But it's a warm-up fight against a journeyman for the purpose of getting back into the ring. That's the yeah. whole purpose, you know. So yeah. there's no point going into someone against a, a world-class uh, challenger just yet. That'll be next or, or very soon. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and yeah, like I say, for you, I guess getting back in the groove after a year out first oh, and really, foremost. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And um, so, have you got an idea as to um, and say so you obviously focused on WBA previously, and that's a, a bit of a mess now with the brief yep. situation and everything else. Yep. Uh, moving forwards, is there has been talk about what your focus will be in regards to that, or are you waiting to see for what the reaction is? Myself personally, I'd like to get, uh, get all my rankings up across the board again. Like, why not? Why would you just restrict yourself to one belt? Yep. Why not have the options options of four, um, or at least three, you know, with, with the champions? But yeah, um, I think for myself, a, a fight with Joseph Parker for the WBO would be a great start, like yeah. obviously, uh, title contention-wise. Um, I think it'd be a great fight for the whole Anzac thing, the New Zealand, Australia thing. A um, lot of interest, and I'd love to have another world title. Like That's that's my goal, no matter what. So I think uh, myself and Joseph Parker would be a good sort of start of that, yeah. and then see what happens after that. Yeah, there's a yeah. fairly large queue forming on yeah. Joseph Parker at the moment, I <laughs> well, think. Well, truly, man. Yeah, as, uh, yeah. as, far as, yeah, as far as the other sort of heavyweight contenders are going, I think he's that's the right, first yeah. on everyone's yeah. list. Yes, yes. Um, I think Tony Bellew and, and Didion White yes. are both sort of, uh, yeah, exactly. lining up for those for those shots. Um, and so, to, actually, another fight, another and a title that you've previously held um, is being fought for tomorrow. Uh, David Allen fighting Lenroy Thomas yes, in Sheffield yes. for the Commonwealth title. Yep. Um, what were your thoughts on on that? And is would you be was that title you'd like to win again? Well, first first and foremost, I like David Allen. I, I think he's a nice bloke. Um, I like the way he operates. Everything else, yeah. he's a funny fella. So there's there's no hard feelings, animosity of, of any sort. Um, as I said, I, I think I feel if I get one or two warm-up fights, then I'll be back to going up the ladder. So I believe David Allen in the past has said he's not ready for me, which is that's fair enough. Yeah. I respect the guy's opinion. Um, but recently he has come out and said if he wins this title, he wants to defend it against me. Now that was on Twitter, so yeah, that was from his mouth, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that'd be great. That'd be great for me to get back over to UK, um, get in amongst the fans and everything else, get get some more exposure on wherever it may be. Obviously, it's Eddie Hearn. 
Um, and yeah, why not get another title? I love titles, they're yeah. great, you know, so yeah, yeah. Add, add, add another one to the collection. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy watching the build over between yourself and Dave, yeah. and like I said, there's no animosity there. No, 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 that's right. Fairly decent yeah, banner. Yeah. All right, and, um, and then say, so look in the, uh, the rest of the heavyweight landscape, stick in the UK at the moment, so yep. it's just firing on all cylinders at the moment. Yep, yep. Um, obviously, the big fight that we've seen recently was the Joshua Klitschko fight. Yes, I'm yes. assuming you watched that, so yeah. what um, what were your thoughts on say, the, the fight itself and, and what it means for the boxing? Well, I think there's, there's, there's a few ways you can look at it. I think Klitschko let AJ off a few times, um, and that was just that, a lack of killer instinct sort of thing. Um, there was the, the bit where Klitschko got knocked down in the fifth. Yeah. Um, AJ basically punched himself out and couldn't hold his hands up. So that was Klitschko's chance to come back in and put something on him. Um, at the same time, when Klitschko knocked AJ down, he should have then jumped on him again. So. From that point of view, I think AJ has definitely shown a lot of heart and everything else, and it was a great fight for him. But at the same time, he's shown a lot of, um, like he had a lot of holes and stuff like that. And I think Klitschko actually let him off rather than him winning, so to speak. Um, great fight, no matter, no matter how you look at it, and uh, great for the heavyweight division. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And so, you know, people that I've never even heard talking about boxing before yeah. have messaged me about that fight and That's yeah, right. talking about That's it. Right. So it's, um, Open up to a wider audience, yeah. Um, and then, you know, the big question after that was who would be next for AJ. Um, and I think, yeah, everyone involved, particularly in the UK, would love to see the, the Fury fight and That's right, Fury yeah. back. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'd say similar to yourself, a similar amount of time to yourself was Fury's had out, and he's you know yeah. trying to get back onto it, back yeah. into things now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know you've watched the heavyweight division very closely, so yeah. from seeing Anthony Joshua and um, and Fury, if you thought if they were to face each other, say next year when Fury's had a fight or two, yeah. um, and they're both at sort of fitness, peak yeah. fitness, say, uh, how, how would you see that fight panning out? <coughs> I think AJ is very much like a Klitschko, where he's very robotic, very efficient at what he does. Um, he looks the goods. He is very athletic, all that sort of stuff. But I, I I see Fury being that sort of person that just gets in your head. Obviously, number one. But it's just that weird and awkward with his six foot nine and long arms and, and just the, the way he mm. operates that he puts you off. He really does put you off. He, he, he'll hit you from um, positions and points where you're not used to or you haven't been used to with sparring all that sort of stuff. Very much like a um, like a Machida in UFC. Yeah. You can't sort of you can't train for someone who's just awkward and weird. You know what I mean? So you can do as much as you can. From my point of view, I think Tyson Fury takes that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's a, it's a great debate that's sort of raging on, and I'm sure it will do until we until we see those boys again. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, so then so WBA we've obviously got Parker, and it looks like you know they're trying to line up Gideon White or, or Tony Bowie for that yeah. fight. Yeah. Um, or Tony Bowie, David Hayes, another one that we haven't caught yes. up since. What, what were your thoughts on on that fight? I know you and David Hay have gone back and forth a few times online. Yeah, it's, I don't like the whole injury thing. If you are injured or whatever, then then, then don't fight. Or if you are injured, then get out. You know what I mean? Um, Something like a, a, an Achilles is, is, is a big thing, yeah. you know what I mean? So hopefully he does come back. I, I do like David Hay in terms of what he does for the sport and everything else. I'd still like to punch him in the face, but that's a different story, you know? Um, yeah, there was there was talk about myself and David Hay fighting mm. before. Yeah. The, the thing that people don't realise is, is that there was a $2 million fight, yes, but out of that $2 million, I hadn't got a million straight off the bat. So I would have got the percentage of the rest of the million. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was either take that or fight for the world title. So I took the world title, uh, sorry, I took the option of fighting for the world title. Yeah. You know what I mean? At that point, that was more important to me than fighting for a percentage of $2 million. Yeah, right, you know so I, mean? I remember we spoke um, <coughs> around that, around about that time and, and say, yeah. you, your, you know, your point at that point is, yeah. I want to win belts first and foremost and then yeah. I'll worry about money afterwards. And well, think about it, if, if the smart, smart uh, point of view of it would have been me win the title, then fight for double the money against Hay after. Yeah. That was always the plan, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, that never came about, but it could still, yeah. And with that, so with that in mind then is, is your focus now looking at the future and thinking like, maybe I only do have three or four fights or a couple of big fights in me so I need to earn the most money? Or are you, are you still of that mindset you had before where you, the belts are, so that's your main goal? It's, it's a bit of both. I'm 38 now, but I, again, I, I've started late and I, I've only had two fights in the last two years. So I'm still... Yeah, you know, miles on the uh, clock aren't going I on. I really have a lot, a lot to sort of give. Um, at the same time, I, li I like belts and obviously having the belts gets you the bigger fights anyway. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if I didn't win another belt or another title but got paid, I'm all good. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it is about uh, longevity, you know, getting out before I have anything wrong with myself. Yeah. 
as well as you know setting my, myself and my family up. So if I never wore one another belt but got paid, I'm all good. But I would love to at least win my title back and legitimately keep it at home yeah, for, yeah. for that sake. And win whatever I can, yeah. yeah. Excellent, excellent. And um, and then yeah, so let's move on to the WBA then. Um, so it, they've they've seen and found themselves in a right mess, which is you know, some of their own doing, some yeah. out of their control. That's right. Um, yeah. So I mean, so since you were stripped, there was you know the debate of who was going to be the next fight, and, and they, that fight hasn't even happened yet. No, and no, this that's right. been a year. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so Fernando uh, and Briggs are meant to fight, yeah. and now Briggs has been caught up on. Uh, charges which yeah. I know you'll have a thought on because he was more than vocal about your charges that's right, that's um, right. and yeah, what, what are your thoughts on, on that? Well the fact of the matter is I, I get called a cheat almost every day by four to five people. You know, Most of these people are from the UK which <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't understand why. I have a shitload of fans in the UK don't get me wrong and I, I thank you very much for all that but in terms of the abuse I, I get 95% of it comes from the UK so I don't know if it's a, a society thing, a social thing, I have no idea, but thank you. It's the, it's the <laughs> shitty weather, everyone's just inside on the keyboards. Yeah, so from my point of view, I, I, I got done over the first time well and truly. Now whether you believe that or not, I don't really care. The second time was my fuck up, yes, but it was a, a pre-workout from the shop. So I'm not a drugs cheat, I'm not taking any drugs, never was, was taking any drugs. Now for Briggs to come out and abuse me and try and get the hype and I'm OD'd and all this sort of stuff and then come in with twice the amount of testosterone in your body, like you're an it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. eat one heart. So I, I don't think it's on the same level in any way whatsoever. Obviously we, we've both got stripped of fighting for the title, um, but yeah, I think we're on two different levels there. Yeah, and, um, <coughs> and yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've gone through this time and time again with yeah. your, your charges and things like that, but yeah. I think there's, there is a difference, you know, between you know those kind of things, and I think if you look at Shannon Briggs, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a medical <laughs> professional in any way, shape, or form. But yeah. I'm pretty sure that you shouldn't get fitter and, and bigger as you get old, that's as right, you, as that's you reach right. the end of your career. Um, and it's about asthma. Yes, yeah. So we'll we'll see what happens there. You know, he yeah. whether Briggs comes back or not, we'll see. But yeah, yeah. with the WBA, I mean, has there been discussions about whether you will come back into the rankings at some point, or have they said you have to start again? <laughs> It's not that I'll see. I'm, I'm still 24 and 0, so yeah. I'm still undefeated, all that sort of stuff. So I think if I have the one or two fights, then they have to put me in the rankings at yeah. some point, no matter what. You know what I mean? So even if it's the top 15, I'm still eligible yeah. for a title. Because so I think we saw with David Hay after you know five years yeah. out, he came back yeah. and fought Mark Demore and was immediately in the top 10. That's right. So, um, That's who you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, they obviously have a problem with sort of reinstating people if they prove yeah. themselves. And like you say, the, you've got the record there. That's right. Yeah. Um, and then, say, the WBC is obviously still held by Wilder. I'm yeah. not even sure if he's had a fight since we've last spoke either. And if he has, not really one. Not sure, yeah, no, no. That's um, okay. No one really gives a shit, do they? <laughs> yeah, I think he's, you know, he's sort of yeah. putting that belt to sleep over there. And so yeah. Klitschko's been made mandatory for that title. Um, so the, the question is whether he takes the AJ rematch or Wilder or the title. I don't understand that. How do you come off a loss and then go into mandatory position for something for another title? Like, you know, like, it's, again, it's Klitschko, so fair enough. But yeah. it's a bit. Where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah, no, it's off two losses, off the back of two losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's very true. I won't forget the Uri. So, yeah, I mean, I think the, the Wilder Klitschko fight would be pretty interesting. I, I can't see... I can see Klitschko dealing with Wilder in a much easier fashion than he did with Josh. I think so, yes. I, I, I personally don't think Wilder's a very good boxer in any way whatsoever. He hits like an absolute mule. I but may agree. Mr. Windmill <laughs> specialist and, and, and everything, and he, I think he gets too emotionally involved as well, and he like really sort of gets in there. So, as a, as a pure boxer, you can't you've got car box of shit, but you can hit, you can definitely hit. So if you yeah. get punched, you're getting out, you're going out. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and I take it that's always always one that's been on your radar. I know we spoke about yeah. it a, yeah. a fair bit. Um, it's a, and is there is there a, a plan in place for yourself? Obviously, you've got the fight next Friday in Punch Bowl. Yeah. Um, is there a plan in place to fight two or three more times this year? Is there? I, I, I really want to, yes. Um, unfortunately, I'm in the predicament. I, I can't say too much about it because I actually don't know too much about it. But um, with Hatton and the contract and all that sort of stuff, my contract was supposed to be up in April. Um, obviously, through the inactivity and banning and stuff like that. It was going to be extended. Yeah. It's now up to the lawyers and everything else to sort of see how long that ban is for and how much and all that sort of stuff. So I, I actually don't know because the lawyers are looking after it. But I am under the assumption I'm still with Hatton at the moment. Um, for how long left, I don't know. So that'll also come into effect 
with the fights. Yeah. yeah. Um, my manager Matt Clark has uh, recently signed a young fella from the Virgin Islands, and I believe the young fella is putting a show on in the Virgin Islands in August. Right. So that'll be a nice one for me to go over there, do some sparring with yeah. him, and get on the show as well. So yeah. Hopefully that, that that comes up for me, Virgin yeah. Islands. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Mate, I wouldn't mind a holiday myself either. Yeah. So. Um, all right, and um, is there? So, what's the situation with with Hatton as far as you're concerned? Are you looking to to move away from from him once that's up? I, I've, I've been straight out with him. He's asked me if I want to resign, and I've said no. Um, I think it's been five years now. I think five years is long enough. Um, I, I want to have a bit more control over myself and my own uh, dealings. Um, it's been sort of just to, just the point where I want to fight. I want to do this. Oh, I'm going to ask Hatton. Like I, yeah. I don't want to have to ask someone if I can do something all the time. Yeah. Um, and then get told no because it doesn't go with their plan, you know what I mean? Um, I was very upset personally about the whole um, the rankings business. I was top five in the world, yeah. across all four. Like, yeah. And then all of a sudden I was just ranked for the WBA and then got basically screwed over for two years. You yeah. Know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, from an outside looking in, it, it seemed, you know, they did a fantastic job getting you into the position for the world title, but then yeah. there, was a, there seemed to be a point after that where yeah. it was kind of a. It that's might be right. more effort than it's worth. It's, yeah. it's all what it seemed like from the outside. That's right. Yeah. Um, so and it, do, you, do you kind of feel that's how it was for you as well? Very much so. Very much so. We sort of put all the eggs in one basket, and then that's all we had. You know. So I, I, I didn't like the fact that that happened, but it did, and it was out of my control. Yeah. So I, I just I've, I've sort of re-signed a, uh, a one-year deal with my manager, and we've, we've both basically come up and said we've got a year to make something out of it. If not, I'll move on as well. Like yeah. I'm just at that point. I said 38 years old. I can't See, no, muck around. No time to mess around. I just want to get in there. And Fight and make some money. And, um, yeah. and so when you signed with Hatton, in terms of big promoters here in Australia, there wasn't really that option. No, um, no, no. Now we start. Now we're seeing Duco promotions over in New Zealand who've yeah, done yeah. an amazing job with Joseph Parker and with and with Jeff Horn. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, they've got part of the WBA title. They've got Horn the fight with Pacquiao and, yeah. and the WBA title as well. Yeah. Um, has there been any discussions between them and yourself? As to yeah. fighting Parker or fighting with them or for them or anything like that. Not not so much at the moment. I think that, I think there's a little bit of dramas over there anyway in terms of like them them splitting or yeah. talks and whatever it is. So um, I I don't want to go and try and source anything else out until I know what the hell's happening with myself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so enough. once I do know what's going on, then we'll have a look at what's going on. Yeah, but enough. um, like there's, there's definitely obviously people like Eddie Hearn, um, you know, Aram. There's so many options out there yeah. um, without even looking at sort of Juco and things like that. So yeah. again, I just want to stay active and fight. That's that's the end of the that's story it, for that's me. It. Yeah. And and say Aram's been in Australia recently um, yeah. with that Pacquiao fight coming up, and yeah. so now it's well out of your division. But huge fight for Australian boxing having Manny Pacquiao well, come truly, to Brisbane. Man. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I, I think it's great. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. I haven't I haven't looked too much into Jeff Horn, and obviously you look at. Um, what pack, what Pacquiao will turn up, sort of thing. Yeah. But it's definitely a great fight, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, I think it's you know get everyone watching boxing again. Yeah. yeah. Unlike Monday in Green, it should be an interesting That's fight right. to watch, and hopefully that will then you know that will go on to the rest of the sport. Exactly. And um, it's a good undercard as well. I know Paul Fleming's on the undercard. Yeah. Um, and Damien Hooper's oh. just been announced, as well as Michael Conlon. Yes. Over yes. From, yes. From Ireland. So great for Australian boxing. Will you uh, will you be up there? Are you, uh, any any talk of that so far? Probably not. Probably not. Um, depends on what I'm what I'm doing at the time. Um, I don't even know when it's all. When is it all? Second July, Sunday. Don't know. So, yeah. Don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will probably be in Perth anyway. Yeah. So it's a hell of a trip. Yes. So yes. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. All right. So like I say, I know you can say you'll come up and watch the uh, boys spar and do a bit of training yourself here. Um, so I will let you go. But if um, so, once once you get this uh, this fight out of the way with Matt Greer next Friday, yep. are you going to be staying in Sydney and trying to get another fight soon, or are you heading back to Perth? What's your sort of logistics? There's, there's a few options. Again, unfortunately, it's the whole Hatton deal yep. at the moment. Um, there's a lovely lady by the name of Astrid who's going to put on the show mid July, I yes, believe. I believe. Yeah. I would like to get on that show. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. Um, and then we've got August. So yep. at the very least, I'll probably go home to Perth. Um, so the kids do all the stuff with the kids and everything else, uh, and then take it from there. So yeah. yeah. All right. We'll look, we'll, uh, we'll let you get off, and um, so we've taken up uh, a fair bit of your time here this right. morning. Um, so look, we'll catch up with you next Friday um, yep. at Punch Bowl. Tickets still available for that through Paul and Hannah Nazari. If you fancy coming down to watch Lucas or any other boys there. Also for, for everyone else who isn't in the area, uh, there will be a live stream. Um, I haven't got the link yet, but through Andrew Wilcox. So and I'll, yeah, I'll um, I'll share that stream as soon as it's up. Yeah. And um, I'll tell you what, while we're in the while we're doing plugs before you go, I 
understand you've started up and some new uh, exercise routines that you're doing. Keep, yeah, you know, yeah, that's right. Keto. Yeah. Um, if anyone interested in uh, there's it's Keto OS is what the actual product's called. It's just a little sachet that you take a drink every day, but it also goes with a ketogenic diet and all that sort of stuff. So um, I've I've uh, applied that in my own life at the moment. I'm eight to nine kilos down depending on what day, um, and it's great. Yeah, it's, it really is good and. and it, 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 more energy, you know. Uh, I've got a. There's a gentleman, one of my clients, who actually has uh, brain issues, uh, injuries, and things like that. And has the shakes, and for the first time in like about ten years, he's been able to think clearer. He hasn't got the shakes, things like that. So it's not just a weight loss, or it's actually fat loss. Yeah. But it's not just that. There is so much, so much more to it as well. So uh, Keto OS is the actual product, and uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, obviously get on any of my social media and um, and ask me about it. We'll, we'll sort you out. Perfect. So, all right, we'll let's so, so, we'll let you go, and um, we'll catch you very soon. Thank you very much. Cheers, Thanks, mate.